Hey everybody, um, I know it's been a while and I know I look like hell right now. Um, <laughs> no makeup on, hair totally back. Um, been getting a couple of questions, messages as to like, where are you, what's going on, etc, etc. So, um, nothing severe, nothing crazy. I just have a new job that's a bit overwhelming as I knew it would be. Uh, and trying to kind of grasp and get it and learn it and just haven't been in the right frame of mind to do this. So um, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I've been using on my skin and um, yeah, if you don't want to hear it, then uh, click off now. So it's kind of random. It always is random, isn't it? So anyway, um, as far as foundations and, and uh, other like face type things go, I've really been, and I've told you all this, I've really been loving the Olay Total Effect 7 CC Cream Pore Minimizing CC Cream. I've been using this as primer. Um, coverage is too light for me to use it just as the CC Cream. If you have awesome skin and like you're seeing my naked skin right now, so you can see that I have imperfections on it, um, that's why I use it as a primer. It's good as a starting point. Usually layer it with this Vichy Idelia BB Cream. This is the light shade. Um, also, really, really liking this. The only problem that I have with this is that it's got more of a um, dewy finish. So I end up having to use a pressed powder just in my T-zone very, very lightly. But um, for every day, this is usually my combo. Um, something I like for going out in terms of foundation, there's actually two. One is a drugstore product and one is going to be a high-end product. So my drugstore pick for going out, um, because I've used up all my Alme Smart Shade makeup, which is fabulous, I must say is the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Blur Foundation. So here it is, comes in a tube. Now, the only thing I'm gonna say about this um, is it's got like a liquid to powder type thing going on. So I'll just take, this is, is number 209 True Beige. So here it is. Um, and it's got like a liquid to powder type finish. The other thing that I feel in it, and I'm sure that it that it's in here is I definitely feel silicone so just let me take a look at the ingredients because I'm sure it has yep dimethicone so this does have silicone in it which is the reason for the opti blur technology but to be honest for going out this is this is something that I would want um, so this is for me is not an everyday foundation but it's a good going out foundation and my high-end pick is something that I saw on Wayne Goss, on, on Wayne Goss's channel, and I take everything he says with a grain of salt because what works for him doesn't work for me, and I'm sure what works for me doesn't work for him. Whatever, he's a dude. Um, so my high-end pick that I actually got had the opportunity to sample and then bought is the Fusion Ink Foundation from YSL. This is a great foundation, and it's a great foundation um, even for me. Um, I have oily skin, as you can hear, it's liquid, and um, this gives me more of a natural finish, but what's in it, the I guess the ink or the fusion part is, it comes with an applicator like this, is that this foundation actually kind of moves and flexes with your skin. So as you smile, as you talk, um, it moves and what I like about it, it's got the same, almost the same type of finish as the L'Oreal, the Opti Blur, but, um, I don't find myself having any breakthrough with this. So it's, it's for, I would say it's for people with oily skin can wear it. Okay. People can, with oily skin can wear this. It's got a lighter amount of coverage that I would like. However, it you can build this, and I'm very, very impressed by it. I've worn it several times out to events. It feels very natural, very light. It moves and flexes, and that makes me quite happy. So it was worth the price tag. Don't ask me how much I paid. However much I paid for it, I'm sure it was too much. 
and I bought it at a counter, not at Sephora, by the way. Another primer that I like is this uh, Skin Prep FX Nourishing Foundation Primer and Anti-Aging Serum. So this is what I'll use um, if I'm prepping for an event and I don't want to, because when I prep for an event, usually if it's after work, I take my, make, my BB and CC cream off completely with a wipe. And wipes really take off everything, even your moisture. So I find this to be kind of a good two-in-one serum and then a primer, and I can just put my foundation on after this and don't have to worry about it. Um, if I'm having a very oily skin day, I will not use this um, because it is very nourishing and hydrating. Okay, let's talk about skin. Um, I'm already five minutes in. Um, just so you know, again, I'm going back into my uh, alpha hydroxies. So I have two products here that I really like. One is a drugstore product and one is not a drugstore product. So my drugstore product pick is my Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Something that I've been using at night that I, this is a sample size that I got from, um, this particular skincare boutique in Toronto. You can order this online. They do ship internationally if you're in the US and you're interested. It is Miracle 10 AHA Gel 1. So basically, it's like the Studio 35 in a gel formula. Um, I use this at night. Absolutely love it. Um, it's great. It's wonderful. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Just like the Studio 35, it's just a gel. On my nose, I talked about this before. I picked this up at the Holica Holica store here in Toronto. The Pig Nose Clear Blackhead Cleansing Sugar Scrub. Now, originally I was using this on my entire face. I'm not gonna do that anymore. This really is for your T-zone, honestly. It's, it's thicker than a normal scrub. See, pretty thick. And it reminds me of the Soap and Glory body scrub that I used to have. It's like that kind of thickness with a much better scent. And, um, but I would reserve this for the T-zone and it, it works, it works, definitely. Uh, where should I go next? Oh, these, had these for a little while, haven't opened them. They're the Elizabeth Grant Biocolysis Complex Advanced Cellular Age Defense Eye Power Pads. They're actually patches gel-based patches. Um, love these. I use these once a week. I have been using them once a week. I think I have like two left. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Put them under the eyes, wait 15 minutes, pat the remaining stuff. It's like a sheet mask for your eyes. Lovely. Um, I'm sure there are less expensive ones. This was a gift. Um, I'll be buying them again. I think these are a good investment. I was selected to review the uh, Clinique. I think this is their Sonic Cleansing Brush. It looks like this. Um, it's their version of the Clarisonic. I have to say, I do rather like this. I use it at night, um, and you should see how well it takes. It just takes off everything so well, um, and I love it. I don't use it for very long, just because I know my skin um, well enough that I'm afraid it is oily, but I'm afraid I'll I'll get a breakout. And I've heard that happens when you start using your Clarisonic as well. What else do I have here? Man, I have so much stuff. Oh, the Vichy Normaderm Night Detox. I've talked about this before. Love, 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 love this. Throw this on at night. Skin feels so good when I wake up. Clearer, um, firmer, just just any everything I could possibly want. Uh, for my nails, here's something that I haven't talked about in a while. I've been using the Orly Argan Oil Cuticle Drops and really liking this. Like, I actually think I like this better than the, um, Solar Oil by, by Creative. And the reason I, I've been using this is because Solar Oil is, is an almond base. And I know almonds technically are seeds and not nuts, but... Since I work in the beauty industry now, um, I've been very sensitive to people with nut allergies and I have several people in my family that have severe nut allergies and they can't use solar oil. So um, I've tried and started looking for alternatives and I have to say, this one really stands up. I really enjoy it. Um, I think you should try it. I got mine at Sally's Beauty Supply and I think it was like $10. Totally worth it. 
totally worth it. And then I partner that with my Yardley English Lavender Moisturizing Body Lotion. I don't use this on my body, I use it on my hands. Um, it is thick enough, it is moisturizing enough, it is scented nicely, and it goes well with the cuticle oil. I absolutely love it for my hands. So it's right by my night, it's right on my nightstand. This is what I use. Uh, my the Face Shop Real Nature Mask. This is the Lemon Brightening Mask. This is probably my favorite favorite uh, sheet mask of the moment. It really gives you a brightening effect um, and really firms your skin. It's two dollars, and that's two dollars Canadian. Okay, you can't go wrong with something like this. Before you go out, you want a little extra brightness. Throw this on. Fifteen minutes, you're done. For my hair, still using my Live Clean Professional Age Resist Miracle Nutrition Oil. Uh, this is a pre shampoo oil so you shake it up put it in your hair 5 10 15 minutes before and then shampoo and, and clean I actually usually put it in my hair the night before I shampoo it and I go from my scalp all the way down to my roots yep greasy head I live it I live that uh, the body oil of my choice is this Garnier ultimate beauty oil that I got at the dollar store that I'm almost done with um, absolutely love this stuff. It is fantastic. I'm gonna hope that they have this again when I go back into the dollar store. Last time I was there, did not see it. I was a little bit upset. I love it. It's wonderful. Obviously, I've used it. And now for makeup. Oh, let's talk about perfume because I haven't talked about perfume. This is this video is way too long. Um, my perfume of the moment is the Shiseido Zen Secret Bloom, the perfume intense. I think this is limited edition. They might still have it. I really like it. It's crisp. It's clean. It's got a little bit of woods on the end notes of it. So uh, slightly spicy and warm, which I really like um, as we head into fall. It's, it's really important to me. I don't I do not do many florals in the fall. Um, florals are for summer for me. So I do a lot of amber, musk, vanilla, sandalwood type stuff in the fall. And that's very nice. I mean, it is called Secret Bloom. So it does have a floral aspect, but I've I really connect with the deeper um, end notes in it. All right, for eyeshadow, don't wear eyeshadow unless I go out. This week I'm going with my Burberry's, my number 21 Midnight Brown. Really love these. Um, they're great, great, great shadows. And then number 22, which is Pale Barley. Very popular color. Let's see if I can get it here. These, don't, these aren't very camera friendly geez so yeah those um blush lately i've been using bronzer for blush that's not like me at all um so the other blush i want to show you is the rose dioro from milani and then my bronzer blush is going to be this dior nude which i just want to get rid of this guys i just want to use this up i want dior out of my life for right now that's that's just how i feel um <laughs> Yeah, great, right? Um, so for lighter lipstick, everyday stuff, I'm going with number Dior Addict 687. Can't say it, can't say it. It's a little, it looks a little summery. Um, it's pretty, pretty sheer. Most of these Dior Addicts, that's that's what they're about, sheer, hydrating. Uh, my gloss is going to be the MAC Lesser Glass in Peach Nectar, which I happen to love. New love for this. Looks a little crazy on the hand right here, but it really shears out nicely. Um, it's got uh, shimmer, shimmer in it. And then um, I, I'm gonna put up a blog post about lipsticks. I've been going nutso over reds, L'Oreal reds specifically. Um, this is my other high-end red that I'm in love with. It's a new YSL uh, Rouge in number 64. It's a blue-based uh, red. It is absolutely amazing. They have reformulated these. I am very pleased, um, and I've worn this, and just, I love it. The only thing I don't like is I have a scratch in my packaging, but that's no big deal. All right, this video is too long, so thanks so much for watching. Hang in there. I'll be back, I promise. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below. See ya. Bye.